back to Primetime Guitar and the Lead Guitar 101 series. Today I'm going to be showing you a really cool major pentatonic shape that moves horizontal across the neck rather than vertical. Uh, it's good to learn stuff horizontally uh, as well as vertically. It makes you jump between positions much smoother, much more fluid. Uh, this was actually the first scale that I ever learned. Um, it's really easy to play. It repeats itself over and over and over all the way up the neck. You just got to know where your root note is, uh, whatever key you're in. So you're in the key of G, you got to know where all your G notes are. Um, and also, uh, I know it's major pentatonic, but it could also be minor pentatonic as well. If you know anything about pentatonics, that uh, a major pentatonic is the same thing as another key's minor pentatonic. Um, like in G, a G major pentatonic is also an E minor pentatonic, or in C, a C major pentatonic is also an A minor pentatonic so on and so forth um, and to find out like say you want to play um, you're in a, an E blues and you got the and you want to use this shape well if you're an E you're just going to go up three frets one two three and it'll take you to a G note so an E um, over an E blues you're going to want to play this uh, pentatonic shape it's not really starting on a G, it's just going to be your G major pentatonic is all it is. But if you start on the G and play the shape, you're going to end up with an E minor pentatonic as well as a G major, uh, and it'll work out great. Uh, but the main purpose of this is uh, just to be able to travel the neck from low to high, uh, rather than going from low in this box to high up here. It'll help you travel horizontally. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are in the key of G major. Um, so we're gonna start here on the low E string at the third fret with our index finger. Play that note, which would be a G. And then we're going to play the fifth fret on the low E string, then the seventh fret of the low E string, then the fifth fret of the A string, then the seventh fret of the A string, and now to the fifth fret of the D string. And that is one complete octave of the scale. And the cool thing about this is, this scale shape, is that it just repeats itself. So from this G note right here on the 5th fret of the D string, you're going to go up to the 7th fret, and then to the 9th fret of the D string, then to the G string at the 5th, or 7th fret, then to the G string at the 9th fret, and then to the um, D string at the 8th the fret. And there's another G note, you're, you're at another octave. So you've covered these three octaves so far. And it just repeats the same shape again. G, or the D string at the eighth fret, then the, the B string at the uh, tenth fret, then the B string at the twelfth fret, then the high E string at the tenth fret, then the high E string at the twelfth fret, and then the high E string at the fifteenth fret. Back to another G. So you've already taken this through four octaves. And it just keeps going up and up and up throughout the whole neck. Um, and then if you find another, like there's a G note here on the A string at the, uh, at the 10th fret, it's the same shape. the same shape it just repeats over and over so if you find that root note and if you were in a or we'll say we'll do it in C it's still the same shape it's all the same shape so it once you get it memorized you can get really really fast at it um, another great thing about this is uh, you can fill in the gaps of this scale um, so you're starting here on the back in the key of G um, of the low E string at the third fret, you can fill in the gaps between uh, this fifth fret and the seventh fret. You can play the sixth fret, slide through it. And I landed there on the A string at the fifth fret. And you can also uh, play over the sixth fret in that position too. So it'd be. So it's just really, really cool scale, and it really helps you once you got once you get it down. It really helps you move in between your box patterns that are going, you know, your minor pentatonics that are going up and down rather than 
this horizontally on the neck. It really helps you move fluidly through that. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson with the horizontal minor or major pentatonic shape. Excuse me. Um, it's a great shape to know. It helps you move real fluid in between all your box patterns. Uh, again, uh, and if you want it to be a minor pentatonic, say you're playing an E blues, um, just count up three frets from from an E note. So you'd want to play a G major pentatonic over that over that E blues and. G major pentatonic is E minor pentatonic. They're the same scale, all the same notes. Um, so say if you're in the key of A, um, count up three frets from A. You'd be at C. You'll want to play C major pentatonic. C major pentatonic is the same as A minor pentatonic. So it, it correlates with each other really, really well. Um, it's a good thing to keep in your back pocket. So, as always, keep practicing, keep jamming, uh, tell everybody you know about Primetime Guitar, and if you haven't already, please hit subscribe.